I'm Jen Dalton. I'm Bob Herzog. Annie Brown joins hey. us in studio again this morning. And why? Why? Because she <laughs> is officially ARC Cincinnati's resident Taylor Swift expert. I love that designation. We, we, you should get it like it should be a bullet point on your yep. resume. I'm going to be real honest. <laughs> I, I'll put it on my resume, okay. honestly. Okay, so, so let, let me explain. Let me explain. So Taylor Swift released not just one but two albums overnight. So he had the one come out right at midnight, yes. right? And then she dropped like the part two, if you will, what, at 2 a.m.? At 2 a.m. And that's why she was teasing the two o'clock on the clocks of that oh. video, the one that we ran in our tease before this. Oh, yeah, so it's, it's the tortured poets department. Late last night, Taylor Swift announcing the latest project is in fact a double album. Clocks in at 31 total tracks. Swift has so described many. the album as, quote, both sensational and sorrowful in equal measure. Mm. The lead that. single, it's Fortnite featuring Post Malone. So oh. somewhere Sheila Gray is pleased. Uh, a video <laughs> for that track is expected at eight o'clock this evening. Super exciting. So I know you haven't gotten through all 31 tracks so I've far. Not. Of what you have listened to, what are the ones that have popped for you so far? I really like But Daddy, I love him. Okay. I also like Down Bad. I like Down Bad. And I really like Fortnite. Which is interesting because sometimes her lead singles are the ones that I think I still think they're good, but they're not my favorite. They're not the breakthrough track for you. But I do really like Fortnite. Which, okay, so. I have heard none of it yet. So, so do we know? But before we move on, I, I will ask you. Yeah. Do we? Because a lot of times her songs are, are based on obviously things that have gone on in her life, past yes. relationships. Who's who's the smallest man she's ever met? Who is that song about? I am going to take an educated guess okay. because I have not heard that song yet. Okay. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I think it's Joe Alwyn. Okay. Okay. There's a lot of tracks that I've listened to where I'm like, this has to be about okay. Joe. Okay. I don't, I don't think they're gonna hang out much anymore. <laughs> I, I don't. Think After so. that, I, I, li I listen to that one. I'm like, mm. you know, I'm a hardcore Swifty, and just listening to some of those tracks about yeah. him, especially "Love Was My Life." Yeah. Okay. Um, I can do it with a broken heart. Mm -hmm. I. Not a fan of him anymore. Okay. Sorry, Joe. Okay. okay. I don't think you're watching this, but if you are, I'm sorry. I don't like you. <laughs> you, just, you never know you never because know. <laughs> Ark is just all over the place. Well, we do have a celebrity that's going to be joining us here. That's very so true. Let's get into that. all the time. Yeah. Um, so, Annie, you also had a viral moment last summer connected to T Taylor Swift with this person <laughs> right here. <laughs> Who could forget this anonymous person? who skipped work to wait in the Taylor Swift merch line. So good, so good. Yeah, and Blanket Swifty, or you can also call her Incognito Swifty, is one of Taylor Swift's biggest fans, <gasps> which is why we invited her to be on the show. She's oh on the God. show. Yes! Oh. <laughs> wow, that is... I love the flag it. you've got. That is quite a background you've created there, Blanket Swifty. Thank you. That is incredible. Good Thank morning. You. That's the outside of my house. Um, That's the outside of your house? <laughs> Yeah, that's my flag on the outside okay. of my house. So I think we need to lead with this question. You know, everybody recognizes that you skipped work for the merch line. Are you, in fact, skipping work to listen to the album and talk to us right now? I am. <laughs> I am. Come uh, on. I had a question the other day. First of all, and I love the fact that your blanket, you have a new blanket, a celebratory blanket here for the, the release of the album. Uh, you, you never, the work never found out, right? Like, you're okay. You still have your job? Um, I have, they found out, oh, they but did. they love it. <laughs> they love they, it. They highlighted it. Yeah, they See, love, I love it. That. And it's actually the same blanket. My dog just, my dog took over the other one, so I ordered a new one. <laughs> sure, sure. But then, now the dog can have its own Taylor Swift kind of moments. I feel yeah. like you two should probably discuss the album because I feel like yeah. you two are more connected on this, right? Yeah, so I can't hear Blanket Swifty, actually. Oh, okay. okay. What do you think of the album because I love it. I think it's incredible. I haven't listened to all I of it. I love it. No, I love it. I've listened to the whole album. Um, but Daddy, I love him and I can do it with the broken heart are my two favorites. Okay. Uh did Daddy, you have, love, she loves Daddy, I love him. Which is yeah, that's and, one of my and Annie had loved that one yeah. as well. Uh, did you have any idea it was gonna be a double album at all? Blanket Swifty, or were you as thrown no. by that as everyone else? No, I was just as surprised as everyone else. Speaking of surprise, were you surprised how viral you went after the interview with Annie? I mean, there are people that have created like memes of you and Annie, like and people that dressed as you two yes. for Halloween one year. It's incredible. Or or at a Swift or at a concert or something they would dress up like you two. Yeah, I mean, it's insane, honestly. It's like 
I just love that I'm going to be a meme. Like, me and Annie will be memes for our entire lives. Forever. I just love that. I saw the, there was one, I'm sure both of you saw this picture, yeah. but the one picture in particular when she was overseas, and I can't remember where the concert is, and Jen, this is probably the one you're referring to, where not only was it the two of you, but they had actually created the lower screen yeah. graphic. The graphic, and, and it was so perfect, yeah. too. It, it was, was shocking. It was Tokyo. It was, it, was it Tokyo? Was that where it was? It was oh my gosh, it was Tokyo. Swifty. How how many times will you listen to the album straight through, or will you you know go through it all once and then hit individual tracks going forward? Um, honestly, every time she releases an album, I take off the entire day. Come on, and I just listen to it. <laughs> I love it. Like every single time, and then I run to Target and I go get the physical CD. Every single time. Okay. Oh, there it is. She is in the same like. Okay. Oh, that's so, oh, that's the image. Okay, yeah, that's from there Tokyo. It is. That's from it's Tokyo. It's so perfect. Oh my gosh. See, on our monitor right here, it looks white. The blanket she's wearing right now. So anyway, that's from earlier, and the one from Tokyo. So good. That's so so good. <laughs> no, I love it. Okay. Does okay. Taylor know anything about you? Has she? Has she? <laughs> does she know who I think that's a really good question because I'm I'm sure she's I'm seen sure it. she's seen it. She has to have seen it. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I hope so, but I know so. Sydney yeah. Sweeney has. Sydney I Sweeney? Any of that. I know, we did see that. I actually I put that on my TikTok. That is so cool. So, for the for the two of you, yes. okay, the other night, I'm just as a hypothetical for both of you, I want both of you to ask me this question. The other night, okay. there was a Billy Joel concert. Okay. On Local 12, Ooh, on yes. CBS. I know yes. where you're going. Oh, my goodness. And two minutes before the concert ended, CBS cut off the feed. I do remember this. As a Taylor Swift fan in the hypothetical universe where Local 12 is airing yes. a Taylor Swift concert, if they cut it off two minutes before it was over, Blanket Swifty, what would you do? Oh, there would be rage. <laughs> I, we we got we got phone calls from people like she you. She said there would be rage. Oh, I love it. Annie, yeah. what about you? How would you feel? I, I would be pretty upset. Yeah, okay. I'm not gonna lie. I would be pretty upset. Right. There would be um, rage because I would have like there waited, rage. waited for that waited for that last for that two minutes. Yeah, yeah. right. Exactly. To, to, to sort of to put a button on it. And yeah. blanket Swifty, I have one more question for you. Is is there ever a moment <laughs> where you're like? I would, it would be fun for me to re reveal my true identity, or are you kind of loving the fact that you're anonymous? No, I love it. You it's like I'm in my Hannah Montana era. <laughs> my Hannah Montana era. Oh, come on. I love it. Perfect. Absolutely. Love perfect. It. Well, oh. listen, I feel like we're keeping you from right. the album, so we're going to let you go, but thank you for joining us this morning. How special. Okay. Yeah. It was good to see you. Bye, guys. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Thank it's, you. Enjoy the day listening to all that music. It was good to see you. To I, see you. To see, I, don't know if I know. Like, good to see you. Oh, there there it is. There's was. the original. It will live it really forever. Will. It, yeah, it's a classic moment. Classic. Annie, thank, thank you for, you for saying out. that out. Oh my yeah. gosh, of course, it was so good to see her again, too. So. Hey there. Yeah, you could stop watching right now, but let's be honest, you don't want to do that. Hit the links or click subscribe to see more amazing content from all of us here at Local 12.